Hi, this is Dunamis333. My brothers and sisters, I'm convinced more than ever that the devil knows that the rapture is coming and he doesn't want people to go in the rapture. That's why that day is a snare. He knows it's coming and he's preparing. He's got this plan that he has in motion because he doesn't want people to go in the rapture. Now, see this text here. This is Luke 21, 34 to 36. But take heed to yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down with carousing, drunkenness, and cares of this life. Now, what do you think the devil is doing to keep people's hearts weighed down? Hmm? We are told to take heed. On this, on on its own, this doesn't you know make much sense. But in the light of what's going on in the world right now, you can see how, how it makes sense. And that day come on you unexpectedly. If you're concerned more about drinking, going out to parties, if you're concerned about the cares of life, your job, you know more than the the laws coming you're not gonna you're not gonna be looking out for his coming you're gonna be focused on these things mm? and and the the you know what seals the deal it kind of tips you in the direction of the cares of life and being out with friends for it will come as a snare on all those who dwell on the face of the whole earth what is the one thing in the whole world right now that people are being uh, encouraged to take? I don't even need to mention the name. You already know what it is. Watch therefore and pray always. Hmm? Watch therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass and stand before the Son of Man. You see, the watching for the Lord's coming is what causes us to escape. In other words, the escape happens before the rapture. What's the escape? Hmm? To see the plan of the enemy and know not to take the, you know what I'm referring to, the, the medicine. That's the escape. So really, we escape before the rapture. Those who have taken the uh, medicine, they have, they've been ensnared. And the enemy has used their natural appetites. Their, their, their natural appetites for drinking, their appetites for uh, the cares of life, which are natural cares, but they don't, they don't trump heavenly concerns. That's why the day of the rapture is a snare. If you're not watching, the day of the rapture is a trap. That is, it's a snare for those who are not looking for it. For, the, for those of us who are, the day of the rapture is our escape. You'll notice that Christians who don't believe in the rapture are the ones rushing out to get... They're the ones who want life to get back to normal as quickly as possible. They want to continue to drink in bars with their friends. It's no surprise that free drinks are being offered in bars and restaurants around the world to anyone who gets them. The enemy is using the love of alcohol to ensnare as many people as possible. Those who love drinking more than the Lord will fall in this trap. They will take the and get left behind. Christians who are more concerned about the cares of this life and are not too keen about life with the Lord in his heavenly kingdom will take the Hence the reason why millions of Christians have taken the in order to keep their jobs. The is becoming mandatory in more and more countries around the world. When we read the above text under the anointing, it becomes apparent that the Lord Jesus Christ was prophesying about the those of us who have been watching for the Lord's coming for years saw the instantly for what it is, the mark of the beast. I knew instantly not to take it. You see, my brothers and sisters, I used to read this text before I said, you know, I, I don't, you know, I don't, you know, I don't drink, you know. I, I will be, people be ensnared by this. But now, in the light of what's happened, you can see 
what tips you to be uh, focused on the world, focus on pleasure more than the things of God. If you're not focused on the Lord before this word medicine came on the scene, if you're not focusing on the Lord, you will tip towards the concerns of the world. But if you're focusing on the if you've been focusing on the Lord before the the medicine came on the scene, you you won't be you won't be taken in, you won't be ensnared by 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 the medicine. Hmm? It will make it will make you even more determined to be ready for the Lord's coming. You see, so this is how why many Christians were caught of God with this uh with the with the you know with this um thing that happened. In the, I think it was the end of 2019, moving into early early 2020. So my brothers and sisters, this is where we are. We are going home. I believe it's going to be on Thursday, the 29th of July, 10 days into the uh, Pentecost count. And that's the day I'll be watching for the Lord's coming. Uh, some people are watching on other calendars. Some people are watching the 24th. I'll be watching that too. I mean, I would love the Lord to come sooner than le later, but it's most likely going to be the 29th of July, according to the Pentecost count. And then, um, as, I, as I keep saying, some saints will be commissioned to stay for 40 days in their glorified bodies to minister to um, those who weren't ready. And they will be on earth until Pentecost and then the wedding banquet will take place on Pentecost, and that will be September seven. Uh, Funny enough, in on the other calendar, September seven is trumpets, the feast of trumpets. So you can see there's a convergence of all calendars. There's a convergence of all events. Everything is boring down to one point. So my brothers and sisters, um, be ready. Don't be deceived. The Lord is coming for His people. We are going home. God bless you.